be picky. Eat your veggies, kids, and go vegan. <laughs> Scared of me. a little have a veggie or two or three Let me show you what I've learned in my classes so far. I'll be Snapstar number four if I bet beat you, maybe. Does he come back? Because I was here 100%. So I'll take that. And being an apprentice is tough. I can take much more. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Because I thought the apprentice would be like skippable or something like that. Wow, now they'll make me take the training course over again. Well.
chain chomps. I'm not playing fetch with you. Smell something. Destiny is nothingness. Might as well go out with a bang. their strings to pull.
<laughs> Lately, I've been feeling chained down.
So yeah, after skipping through my entire monster list and like realizing, hey yo, there are a whole lot of enemies I haven't fought peak before, I decided to come all the way here to Bandit's Way to grind some frog coins, or should I say a whole lot of frog coins or special enemies respectively, because, well, in case you forgot, for every missed entry inside your monster list, you either better have enough copium in your brain to, like, rebattle that particular enemy, or you have to pay three frog coins to that, like, hidden NPC over at Booster Pass, I think it was, because, well, there are a lot of missable enemies inside this game. Holy frick. In case you don't believe me, skip through your entire monster list, you'll see there are bosses or enemies which are story related enemies right in for instance inside mushroom kingdom shortly after battling croco right here in bandit's way i hope you remember that it's right in the beginning of the game right within the first or first two playing hours there is this event which takes place in Mushroom Kingdom where some like shy guys are around hopping around the place and yeah these enemies are missable so if you don't thought peek them with mellow well you have to pay three frog coins as I have to do that because I didn't do it and it's very stupid but it's my first time playing Super Mario RPG, right? So, yeah, it's it's a mistake you can make. <laughs> or, in other words, well, uh, stupid boy, better be prepared next time, because I will, I totally will. And, as you can see, I have my techniques that will help me to, like, grind these coins. Ugh. Ugh. I w don't want to say fast, because it's not the fastest way. I've heard of many ways of grinding frog coins, which are much, much faster, because grinding frog coins from special enemies, let me tell you, boys and girls, it's pure RNG like 100 percent right there's no way you have a special enemy in every consecutive battle you enter right there's no way we know that so you can go into 10 battles and have five special enemies out of it of 10 but it also can happen that there are zero. Like, this event right here is pretty lucky. Like, good RNG. Two battles, two special enemies. There's no way that if we enter the battle right here, it's the Goomba. There's no way that... Oh my god, that's very good RNG. Like, that will, that will happen once an hour, let me tell you. So, I have my techniques or tactics to re-enter or leave a battle in the fastest way possible. So, we, oh my god, all battles in a row. We can either run away or just use the Sia item, which is the better option in my opinion, because it's not consumable and the chances of like leaving a battle is 100 percent and from what i have learned there is a chance that if you leave the battle re-enter the battle there's a chance that this enemy or these enemies inside the battle get re-rolled so you have the chances to get a special enemy again 
although it's the same enemy from the like outside but if you go inside the battle there are chances that these three enemies get re-rolled again and you have the chances to get a special enemy out of it but i don't know if this is really the case although i'm pretty sure it's it's true but but yeah i'm not too much into this technique so i've just witnessed it and yeah i think it's fine i think it's fine yeah so right now we have 119 frog coins but before spending like all of my frog coins for the freaking monster list entries i want to show you the fastest method to get a huge amount of frog coins within a very very short time period so you know the spot it's right here at the land sand tall cliff where the paratrooper me game is located and let me tell you i spent hours of my life stomping coopers like literally this is what i did the last hour to get a huge amount of frog coins i will show it to you right now and if you manage to get under 10 seconds sergeant flutter is saying the following to you mission accomplished elapsed time is 9 59 very commendable that's quite a time you said you'd be a great power trooper if only you had wings and a shell here's a little something from me and that's it five frog coins for a freaking try under 10 seconds right here at Landsand. i mean look at that this is very huge okay like after my special enemy tactic i managed to get around 130 and now after one hour of playtime this is the amount i have right now 278 frog coins this is huge and with that amount in mind we had over to boost their pass to get like every single monster list entry and i think this is the spot right let's talk to him have you got three frog coins to fill in the thought peak info for a monster list entry yes sir this is the one for bandana red and yeah i would say we see us i see you you see me when i manage to get every single entry
you got a reward for 100% completion of the monster list. Got a monster trophy. I'm glad that you checked off every entry in the monster list. I hope you enjoy the finished list as much as you enjoyed filling it out. Your monster list is completely filled out, so you don't need me anymore. This is right. Goodbye then. So let's have a look at our counter and it's 92. It's pretty much. But yeah, this is it for my monster list. As you can see, it's completed on the like badge. Yeah, very cool. I mean, I could also do this. It's a little bit faster. And you'll see every single entry is now there. This is very fulfilling to me because I thought it would be a mess to complete that like time-wise and ugh. But now we did it and I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, that was that and now I think now is chance to get rid of the last frog coins I guess I think there was a frog coin shop over at seaside town and there it could be the last spot on spending frog coins for items special items it's the coin trick doubles the coins you win in battle And now is the question, does he have more special items? Oops, sorry, I'm all out of items. As the immortal bard once said, I'm sold out, and so, farewell. Whew. At least we don't need to farm frog coins anymore. 